Hello and welcome back to another video demonstration of the Viral Image Wizard. In this video we're going to be looking at the Animation tab and we're also going to be looking at, if we can cover it, the Animation from GIF tab as well. Um, we're going to look at both areas and see exactly how we can work with these. So what I'm going to do is first of all um, have a look at the Animation tab and we're going to focus on the top area first um, so I can actually show you exactly what this does. So what I'm going to do is select a folder to import. Now we now, when we're working with this animation tab here, guys, well, especially this top one, this top area here, um, then we're actually importing a folder. We can't do single images because the majority of the animation effects are actually done by in, by adding and combining images together. Other than these four ones here, the animation mix, animation rotate, animation explode, and animation flip flop. I'll show you them in action in a moment. But at the moment, I'm going to be importing one folder inside of here called cars. And I'm going to show you this cars folder here. Um, Okay, what we're going to do is, let me import a different one. Um, okay, viral image wizard, we'll go to test and we'll go to cars 2. Okay, so I can show you that here. Okay, cars 2, as you can see, we've got about nine images in there, um, all of different sizes as well. If you have a look at the sizes there, 500 times 331, 500 times 333, 500 times 323, 325, 512, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and obviously, when you're making animation effects, guys, um, it isn't good. It doesn't work good when you've got images that are different sizes. So as a result, you can actually resize here and the software will resize every single one of those images to ensure that we get them effects. So what this is going to do, this effect here, guys, this is going to join all these images up in that folder. Um, obviously, depending on how many images I tell it to include in the image. So on this one, we'll say nine because we've got nine images. Um, I'm going to enter a size in there as well, and we can actually enter a delay in there as well. Now, this is a delay before the system shows one image, it'll have a delay, and then it'll show another image. Um, and this is in random order. So I'll click on Create Animated GIF. And as you can see, a new animation tab appears there. Um, I can click on this, and you can actually see all the images um, are shown there again. And what the software's going to do, it's actually resizing them all, so which it should have resized now. Um, you can actually see the size from the bottom. Um, and as you can see, it's complete now. And the size is 4 to 8 times 336. If we have a look at this animation here as well, that's exactly what we chose there. And even though the images were a different size, you won't see any difference in the size of the images here whatsoever. So as you can see, this is a very cool way to actually showcase your images. Um, maybe if you want to show one slide after the other slide, um, you can actually import a list of say 500 images in here tell the software well you know what i want to make three four random images out of there or i want to make more images out of there and the software and then minimize the software and the software will go away and it will start working for you um sorry it will continue to work whilst running in the background um i'll just give you another example as well we'll create three images there um, we'll say nine we'll, we'll continue and say nine and what this will do this will actually bring up three random sets of them saying nine Im images so in fact, what's happening is um, you're using them exact same nine images, um, but you're just combining them into an animated GIF in random order, and the software is going to create three different versions of that. Now, again, the reason this takes a little longer, guys, is not only because it needs to create an animation, but because we're actually resizing as well. Now, I'm gonna, I might try and get myself, well, I might try and get another update out um, whereby we have a checkbox here whereby we can actually check if we want to resize or not, because some of us might actually resize, might be resizing our images in the image modifier, which is going to work actually much quicker. Okay, so what we can do, we can go back over to that same folder again. As you can see, this time we've got three images in here. Okay, the front image looks the same on this. Let's just have a quick look. Okay, keep a look on that image there. And let's have a look at this one here. As you can see, they're different order. Even though the front image remained the same on that one, um, there are they are actually different images, different animations. Okay, so let's actually move on. We'll work with these here. Um, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to two images. I'm just going to call this image two images. And what we'll do, we'll just take out two images from here, just so I can give you an example of what these effects are going to do. Okay, so we've got two images in there. We'll load two images from here. Okay, and what we'll do, we'll create an animation mixer. I'm going to create animation GIF, animated GIF. And this is actually creating it in here. Um, give it a few moments and that'll be complete. Oh, we've actually told the system here to create three. So what the system's actually doing is actually creating... Okay, that's been done. Um, 
Okay, no, it did actually create just the one, sorry. I got that wrong. This is actually still in from the other one. So if we have a look at this, uh, this was the actual video that played us a certain No, it wasn't. This was the actual... Oh, yeah, sorry. We entered two images in the folder, didn't we? No wonder it's done two. I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so if we have a look at this, as we can see, this is it's very slow. You can barely see it. And you can play around the speed here. So here's a speed here. I'll do another quick one here. Um... Okay, let's take a look at the software. Okay, the software is still working. Here we go. And what I can do, I can actually click on refresh. Okay, I'm on the wrong image, aren't I? Okay, click on refresh here. As you can see, that's actually faster now. Um, and we've got a number of other um, options here as well. You can do animation rotate, you can do animation explode, and you can do animation flip flop. So have a play with them, guys. Obviously, it's exactly the same way that I've been working with it. Just import your folder, um, check on whatever one you want to work with adjust your speed or work with the create animation from images and the software will work that way for you. What we're going to do though is have a look at this animation timeline. Now this animation timeline um, it's all under everything underneath this area here is to do with the animation timeline. Again you can maximize the software or you can minimize the software and work with it like this. Um, okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how we can work with this. I'm going to create an animation um, I'm going to create a random animation quickly and obviously you can play around with this and I'll be showing you throughout this um, demo on how you can actually be very precise. Okay, so import images to timeline. There's many ways you can do this. You can import images to timeline by clicking here and then you can hold the control key and import images this way. So for example, let's just import, oh, what have I done? I've just made a copy of them all, haven't I? Okay, let me just import these into a timeline okay so I've clicked on there and as you can see they've all automatically been imported into the timeline alternatively if I wanted to add an image I can just click on this add here after I click on add I'd go over to select and I'll select whatever image I want to be looking to bring in alternatively I can um, use this here and create myself a brand new image uh, which can be a solid fill what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring in an image just to show you exactly what I'm trying to do. I've got a white card, but as you can see, the white card doesn't show. Now, the reason it doesn't show, guys, is because it's going to show after we click on Apply and Save. So I'm going to click on Apply and Save, and now I can go back in here and click on Edit. And as you can see, the white card is shown. So I can still add text, um, I can still add images as well, um, I can still do whatever I want to do um, with this, um, and it will reflect the changes straight away. However, when I want to add things like um, border so let's for, for example i'm gonna add a border here i'm gonna add a black border leave it as 10 or 11 pixels thick um as you can see it doesn't add no border as soon as i click apply and save and then i go back into here as you can see the border has been added so there's a number of areas in here that won't get affected until you've actually clicked the apply and save button such as compress resize image add border and apply to all frames as well um so it's very important that you don't get confused with this and this works in exactly the same way as the editor as soon as you start adding text boxes or anything like that um, you've got them all showing up over here and you can move them up and down and work around with them work with your rotation and your transparency as well so it's very simple working with this I'm gonna and if you want to clear this as well you can clear it out the frame um, and it's very simple you can clear the whole timeline by clicking on here and that will clear the whole timeline there what we'll do though is we'll actually continue working with this um, let's go to our test folder. Oops, and we'll go to Cars 2. Okay, and we're going to import these inside of here. And as you can see, we've got about nine images in there now. And there's a number of things that the software does. It tells you down here that, okay, we've got nine images. It also tells you the total set, the total delay that we've got in there as well, which is 4.5 um, centiseconds. Um, I don't know why it's got MS. It should be centiseconds there, not milliseconds. And up here, guys, we can actually control the actual delay for each and every frame. So let me give an example. So we've got a 50 centisecond delay there, 50 centisecond delay there. I could do something like a 100 centisecond delay here, or even 150. Um, I could do something like um, a 100 centisecond delay here as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to create the animation. But keeping in mind, guys, one thing that we need to keep in mind is that wherever these fold, wherever these images are we can't save to that same folder. So I'm actually gonna save to a different folder. I'll call it Viral Image Wizard. I'll go to Test and I'll go to um, Video Results. Let's just go into that folder now and double check and see what we've got in that folder. 
uh, video results. Okay, we've got nothing in there, fantastic. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on create animated GIF and obviously this is gonna resize as well. So as you can see, all these resizes down here are gonna be exactly the same. So the software's already resized the images for us and then it's gonna to start to build that animation for us as well based on the delays that we've entered in here and obviously based on whatever other things as well. So there we go, that's, that's been successfully created. And keeping in mind guys, that on the third image, we had a 150 second delay, 150 centi second delay. Okay, so there you go, we've got a larger pause and obviously we've got a larger pause on the other one as well. Okay, you can't really see the pause too much there, uh, but you can concentrate, you can focus on them more. So we can go 200 delay there and we can do another 200 delay here. So it makes it very, very clear that we're actually having a delay in here. And of course, the way you'd actually do this, uh, well, if, if you are working with the animation from video as well, you'd be extracting the images, you can manipulate the images in the meme, edit in the meme editor or inside of each of these timeline editors, and you can pause and you can do whatever you want to do as well, and really emphasize on points, which does work out to be fantastic. Okay, so here's the image. That's the third one there with the big pause. And Oh, did we do another big pause? I thought we did. Oh, we've done a 20 set. Oh, oh, we've done a 21 there instead of a 200. So that's why it didn't show the big pause there. Let's just click on that. Okay, so obviously you can do a much bigger pause there. You can work around with the delay and everything on there as well. It's very simple to actually update all of these as well. Just check whatever 70 second delay you want on here. Click on update all and every single one of these timeline images will be updated. What I'll do, I'll actually show you that in action now. Okay, so I'm gonna click on say 50, okay, let's say um, 70 delay update all and as you can see every single one of these have been updated very simple very straightforward and this is exactly how you can work with the animation timeline um, and if we just have a look at one more of these images here so you can see the two big delays and the delays here and the delays here okay so that's the two big delays there just showing you exactly how much control you got over there Okay, um, I think we've got enough time to actually go over and cover the animation from GIF as well. Now, the animation from GIF, GIF, the timeline, guys, very simple, very straightforward, works very similar to the way the animation timeline works. However, it is slightly different, so I'll be talking you through this now. And the difference between this area and the animation area, guys, is say, for example, you've actually found an animated GIF or you have an animated image and you want to break it up, um, then you can do. What we'll do though, is I'll actually go ahead and find an animated image and then we can break it up and see exactly what it's made up from. Um, so I know a good site called forgif.com. Okay, forgifts.com, sorry. Okay, and what we'll do, we'll just grab any one of these animations. Let's take this one here. Okay, so this is a fairly cool animation. I'm gonna go over there. And this is just a demonstration, guys. So please, uh, you know, be careful on whatever images you're going to be using. You need to make sure that you've got your co full copyright and, well, you've got full user rights and everything in there as well. Okay, so um, we've got viral image with a test and we've got it in GIF and we'll keep it in there. Okay, and I'm going to go over to here, image folder path, go to test and we've got it in GIF and we have this one here. <clears throat> okay, so I've imported that inside of here. And what I can do now is actually do a number of tasks here. We're not gonna be working with Im import image sequence to timeline because that works very similar to the way that this works here, import image to timeline, whereby you'd be selecting the images yourself one at a time and importing them into the timeline. What we're gonna do is click on import from GIF to timeline. And what this import from GIF to timeline does it actually breaks up that whole GIF, as you can see, it's broken up the whole GIF into images or, or into the frames, and it's entered it into this timeline. <clears throat> and it actually keeps the center second delay as well towards the top. So as you can see, we've got the center second delay towards the top. And if you actually click on edit here, guys, you can make the edits as you was going to make the edits inside of the other timeline script in the animation from video. So this is exactly how you'd work with this guys. You find a nice image or an animation or something, you wanna break it up, you're curious, you can bring it in here, you can break it up. Um, if you want to manipulate it as well guys, obviously you can click on edit, you can start adding um, text in here, you can add borders in here if you want to add borders in here as well. Um, and there's so much more that you can do with this as well. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is one more thing. I'm gonna click on extract from GIF. Okay, and I've clicked on extract from GIF and it says extracted successfully, saved to viral image wizard test GIF, GIF frames. Now I'm gonna go over to, 
whoops there we go it was a gif and this was the gif here and gif frames and as you can see the software is actually um ripped up every single one not ripped up but it's actually um extracted every single one of them images uh from the animated gif and it's saved them here in order for me so zero 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 one zero two zero three so what we can later do <coughs> is import animate sequence um, and bring them all inside of here and rebuild up the animation after making our edits or whatever to it as well um, so it's very simple to work with guys again you can clear the timeline as well uh, you can make changes to the center second on every single one of them if you wanted to as well um, so I really hope this has been fairly easy uh, to get a grasp of um, now you will need to have a little play and work around with this uh, to get the best um, grasp on how to actually work and you know work with this the best um, but I'm sure um, you know if you have any queries or any issues then get in contact and we'll be we'll try our best to overcome any issues and help you out as well thank you very much and i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial